Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Rory. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We're back for another vlog, y'all. Check it. It's gray, it's foggy, and it's about to rain. In maybe two hours. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this done, man. I don't got no time to get all extravagant. We just gotta get to the spot. Hopefully, the big speed will get me there. Catch some fish. Simple as that. I think I can do it, y'all. Lego! All right, I was not, I was expecting rain maybe in a couple hours, but I wasn't expecting a whole cloud. Nope, wasn't expecting that. I can't even see the landmark that I'm going for. <laughs> Let's talk about safety. I have my flag on with my little bright light. I don't think it really matters. Whistle. So I can be like Rose from the Titanic. Um, I have a GPS tracker. Because visually, I can easily get lost out here. I know these poles somewhat lead to where I think I'm trying to go. I just can't see the landmark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a feel for it. There's no boats out. I got good visibility for about 100 yards. Ah, super sketch, super sketch. All right, well, what's an adventure without a little sketchiness to it? All right, I'm gonna fish along the way, along these poles, see if can we can get some trout. I'm traveling about half speed. I'm doing about two and a half miles an hour on speed number six out of 13. Now I took this to um, Freeport yesterday and I was going to get a heavy current. I ran at full speed for an hour. It took me like 55 minutes to get to run two miles. I, I used about four out of six um, power levels. You know, there's six bars that indicate a full battery. So by the time I made it to the entrance of the marsh, after running two miles full speed against the current, I had four out of six bars. At that point, once I made it into the marsh, there was a strong outgoing tide. I was pushing about speed six for like an hour and a half. The next thing you know, I look back, it jumped down to one bar. Now I know you're supposed to calibrate this battery by running it down completely um, twice, two full cycles to get a proper display of your power level. So we'll see, man, because, you know, technically I only ran two and a half hours, three miles, three and a half miles before it died. So we'll see if running at a slower pace, I'm not going to get a strong current, um, how big of a difference that makes. Because by the time it was, you know, it was time to come back to the launch, I didn't have any power left. Now I am experimenting with something where I have my um, Jackery generator, 300 watt generator. So when I got back home, I plugged my Bixby 768 um, battery into my 300 pound, 300 watt generator, and it outputted about 205 watts, and it charged it. Um, when I say charge it, you know, I want to say maybe a few bars, and it drained that generator down in maybe like an hour. So I have that in the back. So I'm like, cool, you know. If I get to a position where I run it two miles out, um, use my pedal drive to actually fish, and when I'm not fishing, use the motor, then cool. Now, if something happens where if I run out of juice, I can plug it into my little generator. My generator is only like five pounds. Then, um, you know, let that run for like an hour while I'm fishing. And I always have enough juice to get back to the boat ramp, allegedly. So we'll see, man. We'll see if the power holds up. Cause I'm gonna be upset, man. You know, sometimes you might get a dud. If you get a dud, I heard Bixby has a really good customer service as far as replacing it and looking into it. So I'm just trying to calibrate it to see if it works better under better conditions. This is the full, first time I'm like testing it on the water with all my camera gear, all my fishing gear. And etc. So with my camera gear, fishing gear, 
the weight of the kayak. I'm 220 pounds. You know, this big city right now is pushing about 400 pounds of weight. So like I say, I'm going 2.6 miles an hour at six. And just kind of show you, the current is kind of coming this way. So we're going slightly against the current at an angle. I'm definitely not going with the current. So we'll jump it up full speed to see what we can get it. Hold on. Slightly against the current. And we're doing four miles an hour. Four miles an hour. Going slightly against the current. Like I say, with all my gear, I'm 220, got 50 pounds of fishing equipment and camera gear. The Hobie's like 115 fitted. And we're getting four miles an hour. So like I said, I'm, I'm chilling at two and a half. Now, when I was going to um, the jetty entrance yesterday, at first I was going against a heavy current on the right side, the right hand side of the channel. I was only doing about 1.75 miles an hour at full speed. That tells you how hard I was going against the current. For whatever reason, half a mile into it, I decided to go to the other side of the channel, closer to that um, land mass. When I went over there, it jumped to three miles an hour. I'm like, okay, bet. I wish I would have thought of this sooner. So yeah. Now going back, ironically, once I went back to the boat ramp, the tides changed, and then I was going against the current again. I'm like, damn. But I had no more juice yet, so I have to pedal um, two miles back to the boat ramp. Now it's funny, like you think, like you know, oh, I'm moving slow, right? But when I was trying to pedal back to the boat ramp, but when I was pedaling back to the boat ramp, my speed on average was only maybe like. 1.5 miles an hour just like a regular pedal right y'all it took me an hour and 45 minutes pedaling going 1.5 miles an hour to get back to the boat ramp right so i'm like okay cool right now i'm doing two and a half miles an hour I'm not pedaling i'm not assisting this big speed all the money i pay for it you do the work so i'm like cool even if i'm at a point where i have just enough power to get back if I have to travel 1.5 miles an hour with the big speed and don't have to pedal at all, I'm chilling. I'm enjoying the scenery. I'm going to be on my phone, be on Facebook, be on YouTube. Cool. Because you think you're moving slow until you realize when you pedal, you're moving a lot slower. So, yeah, I'm trying to put the battery to the test. See what we can do. Find that sweet spot between, you know, being conservative on the battery. Because once you hit a certain point of speed, it's going to take a lot of water shout and you're going to dwindle. If you keep at a good pace, then you're good. I think that pace is like, you know, two, like number six. Number five and number six per what Bixby says on our manual. I'm at power number six and I'm doing about 2.6 miles an hour, which is a mile an hour faster than I was doing yesterday. Which means technically, I don't know, man, I could have... I would have reached the boat ramp like 45 minutes sooner. So yeah, so like I said, we'll test out the battery. I'm just trying to figure it out or fill it out and we'll see. All right, so I've been following my poles all the way out here. Um, I see one big pole left and I don't see anything after that. So now we got to get on our phone, look at the GPS, Google Maps to get a coordinates of where this reservoir dam is at because I can't see it. It's a huge structure. Pray for me, y'all. All right, y'all. So check this out, man. The distance from here, the boat ramp to where I'm at right now, took 30 minutes. I ran it at power six, like half speed, right? There's 13 speeds. I ran it at six. We averaged about 2.7 miles an hour. Y'all, it took like 30 minutes to get here. That's it. Now, ironically, two miles going you know at the jetty not the jetty um freeport it took like an hour running full speed right now my battery life one two three four i still have six six bars six bars of battery life i'm not going through that hold on let me hit reverse slow down a little bit so um yeah i still have six out of six bars um we ran it for 
30 minutes, 35 minutes, and I still have a full battery left. So it does make a huge difference to um, conserve your speed. Big difference. All right, that is crazy. That is terrifying as well. All right, let's go. Don't wanna get caught in that current. And don't wanna get caught by no boats. Current is dragging me. Let's get away from it. Oh, that water's just pushing. There we go. We'll hang out over here by these rocks. Oh man, I remember making many videos just for that guys that don't land. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself trying to bring a hundred pounds of equipment down that hill. And also um going all the way down towards the corner. Caught some fish over there. Good time, baby. And I'll tell you one thing. You would have told me three years ago when I was fishing on the bank. Three years later, I'll be sitting here in a, in a damn Hobie kayak with a motorized trolling motor. Never would have believed you. Okay, we gotta go retrieve our lure. was not the plan to go under that yeah wasn't that bad actually We got pulled out here. That was not the plan. We did not want to be out here in this super strong current. So the current is super strong. I got sucked in. Whoa, whoa. So now, I'm gonna see if I can use the Bixby to get back in. Cause that current is coming out. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on. It's not letting me get through. Come on, come on Bixby, get through, come on. I'm trying, y'all. Current is super strong. I got the Bixby at full power. Going point four. Gotta get out. Huge mistake by getting too close. Come on. Just gotta get around this corner. Come on, get past it, get past it, come on. There we go, there we go. Get past it. Holy shit. 
shit. <laughs> We made it out. I got swept under. Over there, close to the edge. I just couldn't turn around. So, eventually, I just had to go through it. Y'all, the current is pushing so hard. And it sucked me through. But I put the big speed at full speed and pedaling, it got me through that. Lesson learned. Holy crap. That was terrifying. We are right now. You made it. Stay away from that damn wall. That could have been bad. Could have been really bad.